So have you wanted to build a home theater on a budget, but you didn't know where to start or where to look? Well, look no further than my series of videos here, which is gonna go through building a home theater on a budget through Shop Goodwill. Now, to start, a couple ground rules. Uh, this is gonna be for items listed on Shop Goodwill. They're probably not gonna be available by the time you see this video. This is basically just as a, a base to kind of show you what's out there if you look uh, and actually do your research and kind of look at these units. Um, first and foremost, these projectors here today we're looking at 1080p projectors. I'm not really looking at 4K projectors, except for one exception, which I'll get to at the end. But all these projectors are gonna be 1080 projectors, and I'm looking at it in the way I would buy something. So I'm looking for maybe older tech that's high quality that you're gonna get the best bang for your buck out of, in my opinion. So uh, with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So first and foremost, uh, the big item that everyone's gonna be talking about, and that is the home theater projector. So I've got a couple options here, and I've got my trusty little iPad tablet I'm gonna be looking at down here with all my information on it. Uh, and then you're gonna see the pictures kind of pop in on the side here uh, as I'm talking about everything. So first and foremost, the projector. Again, we're looking at mainly 1080p projectors. There is one exception, which I'm gonna to get to at the end on here of this list. Uh, but these again are probably not gonna be available when you actually go on the website and look, uh, even the day of posting. Some of these items are probably gonna be sold already uh, or the prices are gonna change from what I'm screen capping and listing here. So just keep that in mind. And that applies to all the items I'm gonna talk about. And that's gonna lead into all these lamp-based projectors. I always factor in buying a lamp with them uh, when you purchase it just because the amount of hours could be misleading people can reset the timer you don't really know how old the lamp is in these lamp based units so i always factor in buying a new lamp uh right out the gate when you get one of these projectors so just keep that in mind your mileage may vary you may decide to keep the stock lamp that's in the unit when you buy it longer or shorter you know it's up to you but i generally just assume that you're going to buy a lamp pretty much right out the gate so my first for projector that I'm going to have popping in here on the side is a Panasonic projector. This is the uh, PTDZ570U projector. Now, this is what's considered a professional installation projector. It's a single chip DLP projector. It's not going to have the most insane contrast ratio. It's not going to be the greatest spec in the world that you're going to see. Uh, but it's gonna be pretty decent. These Panasonic projectors are made to run uh, like a workhorse because they're made for fixed installations at like uh, educational centers and museums and venues and stuff. So it's gonna be extremely bright. It's gonna be a one chip DLP, so it's gonna be extremely sharp. Uh, it's gonna have a good throw ratio, uh, a lot of you know adjustability there. It's also gonna have lens shift with a lens shift lock in the front so you can mount the projector and move the lens shift uh, wheel kind of around to fit your screen. And for the price, at the time of uh, recording this video and the screenshot that's up here, uh, this projector is sitting at $25 on Shop Goodwill, plus shipping and handling, which is another like 30 bucks for that. Uh, that's a really good deal for this type of projector. Again, not the greatest contrast ratio that you're going to get, but it's going to be way better than a, you know, hundred two hundred three hundred dollar projector you would buy off amazon or even higher than that some of the lower quality projectors you would get that are dlp based uh the one catch you're gonna kind of get with this is the lamp because i believe this model is a dual lamp system so it takes two lamps on the back uh you're looking probably over two hundred dollars for the lamps which is going to add more money more cost on this for basically what amounts to under $50 with shipping and tax. Granted, you're gonna to have to buy the lamp. I think that's a great deal. And uh, at the time of the recording and when I took the screen cap, there's one bid. Uh, so this will probably go up a little bit, but I mean, I think this is a pretty good deal on a projector. Uh, option number two, and 
this is something you're going to see in these videos that's going to pop in intermittently. The second projector, this is the secondhand home theater uh, approved deal, you know, approved purchase that I would pick out of this list. And this is a Marantz VP11 S1 projector. <laughs> Uh, coincidentally, this is probably the oldest projector on the Shop Goodwill list. This one came out in like 2006 or 2007. Uh, but this projector is extremely high quality for what it is. Again, it's a one chip DLP. It's going to be extremely sharp. The contrast ratio is actually going to be pretty good because this projector has uh, an iris setting. So you can actually clamp down the iris for improved contrast ratio. And the big catch on this one uh, is the lens. That is a Minolta lens that is on this projector. Uh, in and of itself, that lens is worth its money. It's going to be the sharpest, best lens out of any projector that's going to be on this list out of the four or five that I have listed here. So just for the lens alone, uh, this thing is worth its weight. Uh, it's sitting at $100 right now um, with the bids. Uh, plus, I think like about mm, $25, $30 in shipping and handling. That is an insanely good price. This projector, when it came out back in 2006, 2007, was $20,000. This is an insane deal for this projector. Uh, even adding in the lamp, which you're probably looking like between $150 and $180, $200 maybe on the lamp on this thing. Uh, still, even with that on there for under $300, pretty much, uh, or right about $300, insanely good deal. Uh, the one catch you're going to get with this, it only has a vertical lens shift, not a horizontal lens shift. So you're going to need to make sure if you get this type of unit, and there's other models like this that Marantz have made. But if you're going to buy something like this, you need to make sure it's going to be squared to the screen, at least horizontally. Uh, you know, if it's up or down, you can vertically lens shift it, but you're not going to be able to shift horizontally. So you're going to need to make sure you square it to your screen. But again, for this price, uh, insane deal. This is the approved buy by Secondhand Home Theater by me. Buy this projector if you see it out there for this price. If it's under, you know, two, three hundred dollars all in for a projector like this, uh, just for the lens alone that's on this thing, Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. And there, there's only one on Shop Goodwill, but there's multiple of these in their various models and uh, generations on eBay, which we'll get to in the next video when I talk about eBay purchases. But definitely a, a very good deal. Now, moving on past that, we're going to get into LCD panels. So... I'm not a huge LCD fan. I've had them in the past. They're okay. I prefer the look of DLP. The motion is better. Uh, yes, you're going to run into maybe the rainbow effect on single chip units, you know, that aren't LED or, you know, whatever. But that's a small trade off, in my opinion, for the improved motion and just more natural filmic looking picture, which is what I, you know, what I strive for in my theater with what I've purchased here. But some people aren't going to want that. They're, they're going to want higher brightness, you know, the higher lumens. They're going to want the LCD, which is more pop in the colors and all that. So we're going to get into two LCD uh, projectors that you can find on Shop Goodwill. So the first one is an Epson Powerlight 3700. Uh, this is, again, a 1080p model. This one is from the mid to late uh, 2010s, right around in that range. It's going to have good brightness. I believe it has a dimming feature. It has horizontal and vertical lens shift. The lamps are not that expensive on these. Now, I don't know if this lamp, lamp price that I found on Projector Central is a genuine lamp or if it's kind of like a third party lamp, but they're saying these lamps sell for only like $88 or $100, which as long as they're a decent quality, that's a really good price uh, for a lamp for one of these units. So, you know, that price could grow if it's not genuine, you know, you can take your risk with that. But again, this is a pretty good projector. It's going to have a good contrast ratio, high brightness for what it is. Uh, you're going to have lens shift and you know i believe a dimming feature to help tame the lumens if you don't need the full lumen output 
And this one, at the time of recording of this, was at $136. Uh, this one actually sold between when I took the screen cap and when I'm filming this. And it sold for $161, which, again, this was, I believe, at least $1,000, if not more, when this projector came out, you know, several years back. Again, really good deal. Uh, with the shipping and all that in, you're looking under $200. Uh, again, a really good deal for a projector like this, if this is the type of projector you're looking for and that you want to have in your home theater. So uh, definitely be on the lookout. These Epsons of the various models from like the early to mid to late 2010s pop up quite a bit on Shop Goodwill. Um, but as with anything, and this is just a rule of thumb with any of these products, I'm assuming they're going to work unless it specifically says in the listing that it's damaged and not working. I'm going to assume it's going to work, but you always have to factor that in that, especially with like these LCD units, there might be dust blobs if they don't have a picture showing the image. It may have an issue. You're kind of gambling there. But if you're only spending $150, $200, as long, uh, as long as you're not on a super, super tight, you know, budget where every single penny and dollar counts, if you got a little bit of flexibility, it's kind of worth to gamble on something like this. So now moving down to the last projector I have from Shop Goodwill, and this is going to be the one outlier. And an exception, these don't pop up all the time on here. And this isn't really my forte of what I want here in my home theater, but I know a lot of people are probably going to gravitate to this one over any of the other ones that I've talked about, you know, on this list so far. And that is an Epson 5040 UB. Uh, this is a very highly praised uh, 4K pixel shifting projector. Um, they have various models like a 5030, 5040, 6030, 6040. They're all 4K pixel shifting. They all have a powered lens, so they're gonna have powered zoom, powered focus, powered lens shift. They have dimming features, uh, high brightness, really good contrast because the UB series has the uh, ultra black dimming features on them. So yes, this is a very good, projector for what it is if you're looking for a 4k projector even though it's not native it's a pixel shifter uh this is a really good unit and one that's pretty highly regarded in terms of 4k units out there in the marketplace nowadays uh the one thing you're going to see on this one though right now at the time of this recording and when i took the screen cap it's at 511 dollars that is by far way more expensive than any of the other three projectors I talked about. It's like double or triple the price of all of those other ones. And that's because it's 4K, it's the newest projector, and it's since it is newer, it's got the name out in the marketplace. People are gonna want this type of projector. Uh, it's at $511. I can almost guarantee it hasn't ended yet. I think it ends in a day or two of me recording this, so I'll have to see what happens. I would venture to guess this thing is probably going to sell closer to $800, $900, $1,000 probably. If it doesn't go for at least $800, I'm going to be extremely surprised for it. Uh, but if you're dead set, you want something like this, that's a decent price. Again, I'm not as familiar with these type of projectors because it's frankly not what I'm looking for in my home theater, but these are out there uh, in the Shop Goodwill marketplace. And again, even with uh, needing potentially a lamp, you know, out the gate on this, I'm almost guaranteed the $88 price is not for a genuine lamp on this. That's probably going to be a couple hundred dollars. But conceivably, you know, for $1,000, if you could get this shipped for like, seven eight hundred bucks plus another two three hundred on say a genuine lamp or very high quality third party lamp you're probably looking at a pretty good deal for a thousand dollars if this is really what you're wanting uh, again that's not my cup of tea that's not really what i'm looking for here in my home theater but it is out there and if you look at shop goodwill you can find not only these epsons jvc's will come through there every so often sony's will pop in there every so often uh you just got to be vigilant and you got to look uh to see what you know is out there because these will pop up on shop goodwill uh 
again, you got to take it with a grain of salt about the quality to make sure it's not damaged. You also have to worry that the place isn't going to pack something like this correctly because this is a pretty big projector. So you always run the risk it's not going to be packed properly. It could get damaged in shipping. That's something to throw, you know, into the mix there. But it is there. You know, these are out there if you kind of just search and, you know, take a look for it. So that's going to round out the projectors on Shop Goodwill. Now, there's plenty of other ones out there. I, I'm not going to spend the time to try and catalog 10 or 20 or 50 of them. I mean, there's hundreds of projectors on Shop Goodwill. A vast majority are going to be old school slide projectors that really have no bearing on what we're trying to do here in a home theater environment. Um, but they're going to have some decent quality home theater projectors or in the case of like the Panasonic, you can find, you know, ones that are made for like fixed installation and then just move them in to your home theater a setup. So definitely be on the lookout. There's some really good deals. And like I said, out of these that were on here, my pick, that Marantz projector, far and away would be the one I would buy. Uh, because it's got the best specs, in my opinion, in terms of the price to performance ratio. And that lens that's on there, that Minolta lens, is well worth its weight in that price you're going to pay. I mean, it's a $20,000 projector. That thing is far and away better than anything. Even this Epson uh, 5040UB that I talked about, yeah, that one's 4K and it's the most modern. I would pick that Marantz all day over any of those options that I listed. So uh, with that being said, that's going to round out the video here today about the projectors on Shop Goodwill. Uh, so stay tuned. I'm going to have a bunch of these videos talking about all the different components you can buy. I'm trying to stagger them out uh, so that my videos don't run too long. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you.